I find it interesting that we can check black men all the time, but black men can't check us. Mm. We could tell a black man he got to go to therapy. We could tell a black man he lazy, he needs to help around the mm. house. But your black man can't get you up at 6 a.m. and be like, we doing a workout? Whoa. She preaching. They gonna call you a pick me. Your black man can't say, hey, babe, when you on the phone with your family, you're gossiping a lot. And then when you get off the phone with them, it's negativity in this household. Is there a way you can participate in your family stuff that doesn't hinder nah, that's our what relationship? I hate right there. You're treating me like your sister's baby father. And it hurts me every time you get off the phone with her. Like, I don't understand. Why is it that a partnership when it comes to betterment is only us to them when it can't be mm. them to us? Preach. First of all, let me tell you something. One of the points that she touched on stood out to me. That whole getting on the phone with the homegirl and family members and gossiping. That there is the worst because it does tend to bring negativity into the relationship. I'm not even going to hold you. And if it's not straight up gossiping, it's almost never anything positive being spoken of on that phone, man. It's always, my baby daddy did this such and such at work and pissed me off man it's never good news man and i hated that man i had to check had to check that a couple of times honestly you know what i mean so if you don't check it man it's just going to continue and continue to go on and it's also a lack of respect on the person's end if they're always calling your girl with their bad news and you know this is never anything good bro you got to tell your girl to call her out about that like you just can't call me and just dump all of that emotional baggage on me because that affects the relationship it really does Bro, my female friends, the reason why I don't, like, trail women, because that shit's sad, like, my homegirl texting me crying about one dude, and she with a whole other dude crying about the whole other, you know do. what I'm saying? It don't even make sense. Like, <laughs> how, you, how you got an attitude with your side piece, because your main piece made you mad? That shit don't even make no sense. All right, look, first and foremost, Buddy at the beginning of the video is 100% correct, man. I think I can speak for most men. You have heard a woman cry over one guy, be obsessed over this guy. Meantime, she got another man right over here, right? That's the main dude, and she's obsessing and crying over the side dude, right? I've seen family members do it, acquaintances, co-workers, classmates. I've heard it all, man. I 100% believe this guy, and I stand on what he just said, man. It's, it's definitely hard to put your trust in some of these women today because you know what they're capable of. Why well, I found it, y'all, and I got a vasectomy, so I know it ain't mine, so what's good? Who you got a vasectomy? Yeah, I got you a didn't vasectomy. tell me. No, no. No, 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 no. You got a vasectomy and you didn't tell me? We literally waited four years Somebody, please tell to me have this, this kid, bro. and you literally didn't tell me you got a vasectomy? We we wanted kids. Didn't you want a child? Why are you pregnant? What do you mean, why am I pregnant? How You're are you pregnant? It ain't mine. Don't, it, wait, it, don't even go. You got a vasectomy. I got a vasectomy. What, the? what you mean? I'm trying to figure out how so you're you, pregnant. So you basically just don't trust it's me. your fault. That is. How can I trust you? How can I, I trust you when you got vasectomy and didn't tell me? Don't try to I was going to with, tell you. With four years wasted and we planned our lives, like, we planned our lives around children. I know we were supposed to have kids together, not you run off and go have a kid so with So why did you nigga. get a vasectomy? I'm, I'm confused. I still don't understand. We, you went behind my back and got a vasectomy, knowing that we, you wanted kids with me. What's, what's wrong with me? Why am I not good enough for you or something? Why you are you pregnant? What you mean? How are you pregnant, no, though? No, why didn't you tell me? You it, don't trust it, me? It ain't mine. You don't believe me? No, it ain't mine. No. Why didn't you tell me, though? Like, you don't, why, you don't trust I'm me? I'm telling you now. Me. What you mean? When did you get a vasectomy? You? Like, three months ago. Does, does, does that matter? Because you're pregnant now, and it's definitely not mine. So, who is the father? So, oh, yeah, why are we right. even married? I don't understand. Because I loved you. That's why. I said love, though. Child. You're gonna love this child too? No, I'm not. Not if that's not my kid. I'm not loving no kid that's it's not mine. Matter. Didn't you want children? Hey, I want children, but not from another. Like, who is the father? Who you been? You tell me you wanted children. Who you, you been? My back and got a vasectomy though. Who you been? Bro, you a liar. I'm the liar. Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Are you serious? But I'm the liar. Get and that I camera out my face. This is serious, bro. This I am serious. What do you mean? What are you crying for? I'm the one should be crying. Okay, I'm not you don't face. want out of somebody crying. else and don't got you pregnant. You are a whole lie. You got sex me without You don't brought a whole nother my family. Like, what is your- You are lying on me. Why you automatically assume I'm cheating on you when you literally lied? Our, How do you Our marriage is based on trust. 
Our marriage is based on trust and will. This got to be. How oh did you get pregnant though? You talking you about anymore. trust you? How am I trust you? How am I gonna trust you when you're making decisions by yourself that should be together? You should be happy. That you I'm made pregnant. a decision by yourself. Well, apparently it wasn't by yourself. Apparently it was with somebody else. You should be happy that. Because it wasn't me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. That How? Is not true. You should be happy. How are you pregnant? By God. Lucky oh God came God. to save us. Don't bring God into this, bro. Don't you do that. No. I do not want to hear that. You know I wanted children. You got a vasectomy, though? Why are you pregnant? Why? What do you mean, why? Because I wanted to get pregnant by you. That's how That's how you get pregnant. I know. And Shut up. I know, but you definitely pregnant. So why did you get a vasectomy? I can't, I can't Wait, get hold you on. Pregnant. Why did you get a vasectomy if you wanted children with me? Are you else And then you get mad when I get wind up so pregnant? Real. No, you must, because you wanted children with me and didn't tell me that you got a vasectomy three months ago, which don't make notes when you know I wanted to have a kid. You, you know I don't want to have a kid. How like, you gonna how you gonna make this about me when you don't want to What you mean it's always about you? You always go in, run off, and make some brave decision by yourself without even asking me. And you still don't court me like I'm some like you, animal on a You you zoo. know what? I, I'm done. J just bro. Because I'm not finna be taking care if of I, another if kid. If I leave, I'm never coming back. Another kid? How many kids you got? What are you talking about? I said... What am I talking about? Why did you go and get a vasectomy? Another kid? I didn't know about no get other out. kid. Get out. I don't even oh, want to talk about so it Oh, so you no talking about get, get out? out? Get You've out. been there for four years. I get barely out. even know you. Get out. And take your... You know, um, so many things is wrong with this video, right? Even if it is a skit, men have been through this before. Men are going to continue to go through this. And that's why I think DNA tests should be mandatory at the hospital. Before a man signs that birth certificate, he has to be 100% certain that this child is for him. But I wanted to highlight this comment that I came across on Facebook, written by Kate. First, a vasectomy doesn't 100% guarantee no kids. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder where you got those statistics from. It happens more often than a person would think. Doing that without telling your partner is shady as that's what she says. First of all, guys, a vasectomy isn't 100% um, effective. Nothing really is. But guess what? They say it's 99.99% effective. What does that mean? 100 men walking around here, chances of any of them with a vasectomy getting someone pregnant is slim to none. That's what that means. They said that one to two, possibly out of 1,000 men will have an incident after a vasectomy. And that usually occurs within the first year. Those are insane odds, man. That's crazy. So, so for this woman to say that is disingenuous without merit and it's not studied. She didn't go and look at the damn actual statistics. She's pulled this up out of her ass. A more disheartening fact about what she said was this so many women in the comments actually agree with her so many women in the comments agree with her he's shady for going to get that vasectomy but the bigger issue at hand is the fact that this woman is pregnant and we don't know who the baby dad is and this type of stuff happens all the time luckily this man got the vasectomy so that's the only reason why he know that the baby is not his a lot of you guys walking around here you're sleeping with your girlfriend she's sleeping with someone else she comes up pregnant and she gets the benefit of the doubt because you don't have a vasectomy. You're saying, damn, we have been smashing raw. This is a good possibility is mine. But even still, man, get that DNA test, bro. Straight up. I'm going to keep it real with you. Get the DNA test because the woman going to deny it to the day she dies, man. She's going to take it to the grave. Straight up. I don't care. Put yourself in the position of the woman, man. She's sleeping with two guys. One guy is the one who does the things and gets the benefits for her. The other guy just blows her back out. He has no commitment commitment to her he doesn't even show attributes or characteristics of being a real man of being a provider he's just dicking her down bro who you think she gonna pin the baby on come on man common sense says the guy who's paying bills the guy who's committed to me the guy who comes home at a decent hour every day goes to work brings home the bacon that's who she gonna pin the baby on bro get that dna test god damn it i'm gonna check y'all on the next one y'all be cool i hope y'all learned something i hope y'all enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe if you have a video you want me to watch react to give commentary on send it to deadbowillreacts at gmail.com i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one